Today I am going to explain the poem A Photograph by Shirley Tolson. I will read the poem first, paragraph by paragraph and then explain. The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went peddling, each one holding one of my mother's hands and she the big girl, some twelve years or so. All three stood to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera. In the first paragraph, the poem looks at the cardboard which refers to the photograph of the poet's mother and her two girl cousins who had gone for peddling that is wading or walking in the shallow water of the sea. Both the cousins were holding the poet's mother's hands, each on one side, because the poet's mother was the oldest among the three of them. She was then twelve years old. All three of them stood still and smiled through the hair that the breeze had blown over their faces while they were being photographed by their uncle. The second paragraph, a sweet face, my mother's, that was before I was born, and the sea, which appears to have changed less, washed their terribly transient feet. The poet notices the sweet face of her mother in the photograph, that was taken much before she was born. The mother's face had changed a lot. Unlike the sea which had remained almost the same as in the photograph. The sea water in which the mother was standing had washed her feet that were unbearably short-lived, that is, terribly transient. The mother was now dead. Here, the poet wants to compare between sea and human beings. Feet that refer to human beings are short-lived. They age with time and perish, come to an end. Whereas sea, that is an element of nature, is immortal. It does not perish, does not come to an end. It stays forever. It is permanent, not temporary like the human beings. The figure of speech, synecdoche, and transferred epithet has been used here. In synecdoche, a small part is used to describe the whole thing, as in this, feet is used to describe the whole human being. For it is the whole human being that dies, not just the feet. Terribly transient feet. Transient here is temporary, something that does not last forever, something that is short-lived. Washed their terribly transient feet used here is an example of transferred epithet, a figure of speech that describes an event but is used to describe a point to another. As here washed their terrible, terribly transient feet means that the footprints of the cousins on the sand was washed away by the sea. The footprints were temporary, short-lived as the sea water erased them. But in this context, it also refers to the temporary state of human life. The elements of nature remain, but human beings change with the passage of time and perish. The third paragraph, some 20-30 years later, she'd laugh at the snapshot. See Betty and Dolly, she'd say, and look how they dressed us for the beach. The sea holiday was her past. Mine is her laughter. Both wry with the laboured ease of loss. The poet recalls after 20 or 30 years later, her mother would look at the photograph and recall 
with amusement the happy moments she had enjoyed with her cousins at the seashore the photograph brought back the memories of a holiday at the beach she laughed at the way they that is the three of them betty dolly and she had been dressed for the beach the happy memories of her holiday made her feel nostalgic that is sad as the happy time had passed away and she could not bring back those happy moments again in the same way the poet also feels nostalgic for she remembers the laughter of her mother who was now dead so she also could not bring back the happy time she had spent with her mother both the poet and her mother had lost their happy times both tried to look amused light hearted but it was very difficult to let go of the happy time that had slipped away or passed away so easily here in labored ease labored means difficult and ease means easy figure of speech oxymoron is used here when two words that mean opposite to each other are used together side by side like labored ease which means difficult and easy used in the poem where it is difficult to bear the easily passing away of the good time it was difficult to accept that the happy time of a mother and the happy time of the poet spent with a mother was a matter of past the fourth paragraph now she has been dead nearly as many years as the girl lived and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all it silence silences now the poet's mother has been dead for 12 years that is as many years as the girl was in the photograph and that was 12 years old circumstance here means a fact or a condition or a state of affairs that is the poet has nothing to say now as her mother is dead both the mother and the poet had lost something the mother lost her childhood that the photograph captured years ago and the poet has lost her mother's laughter now the loss of her mother mutes her silences her and she is speechless the silence of the girl in the photograph that is her mother silences the poet the photograph reminds her that she would never hear her mother this silence silences the poet thus through the poem the poet tries to point to the futility of human life a mere photograph outlives a mother it captures the moments and becomes a permanent memory becomes a constant reminder of the time spent it has more longevity than humans for humans may change with the passing of the time the surroundings may change the situations may change but the memories attached to a photograph memories captured in a photograph are eternal they never change that is the significance of a photograph the photograph in the poem brought joy to the mother unlike the poet who felt sad as it remained